His reputation, Warren Buffett was the man who said that you can build a reputation for 50 years and lose it in five minutes. Reputation for corporates is more important than ever. There are quite a few surveys of reputation and we have a Plus94 one here. And joining me is Safisa Falala, who's the chief executive and founder of Plus94 Research, and Vukani Magabani, who's director of public affairs and communications at Coca-Cola South Africa. And no surprises for guessing that Coke came top of this particular survey. But let's ask Safisa, good morning to you Safisa and welcome. Uh, there are, as I say, several measures of reputation. How does yours work and uh, why should we trust it? Okay, the first thing about it is that it looks at the top companies in South Africa from whom so much is expected, the top 50 companies based on their advertising spend. The reason why the top 50 is because they are very visible um, in the public domain, not just from the point of view that they advertise a lot, but consumers exchange and interact with them on a daily basis. So they are companies that are significant. That is different because you could look at, for instance, the top 10 listed companies. Mm. You could look at companies, for instance, with the highest turnover. But our methodology looks at the top 50 most visible, and hence it is called the top companies' reputation. By index. advertising spend. That's your, by advertising, that's your gate. By yeah. advertising spend, which, needless to say, also reflects on companies that the public is most familiar with. Mm. They know a lot about them and therefore they're in a position to speak in an informed way about those particular companies. And in another aspect also, I believe in terms of this study, we have the largest uh, sample of companies, 163 companies. In addition to the top 50, we also look at all of their competitors. So if a company is not one of the top 50 spenders, we also consider it on the basis that it is a competitor to mm. one of the top uh, 50 spenders. And plus, we look at key industries such as the oil industry, the pharmaceutical um, industry. So there's an exhaustive coverage of over 3,000 respondents and over 160 companies that are, 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 are included in this. I'll ask you about who the respondents are in a moment, but let's bring Vukani in. Uh, Coke... Coke, Coca-Cola, comes top in a lot of these surveys, and it's one of those brands, it's what they call a, a monolithic brand in the sense of being the company mm. and the brand exactly. all together. Unlike, say, an SA Breweries, uh, which has its individual brands and then there's a corporate brand behind it. That must help you. The product is the corporate. I, mean, I think there's a distinction. I mean, the corporate is what you do in terms of what you do for your communities. The brand is what the consistency of the product. Mm. So in some regards, I would say, yes, it does, but I think they're too distinct. There's the corporate brand that, as I'm saying, is um, the brand that literally the impact on, on, on me as a consumer, me as a person in a community, and there's me, the consumer, who consumes the brand and mm. enjoys its refreshing taste. So what are, you, what are you doing that makes you top? I mean, there's some pretty big heavyweight companies below you, Pick and Pay, Vodacom, mm. MTN, Toyota, Volkswagen, Telcom, Unilever, SAB, I mentioned a moment ago, and it's not because they like the Coke that they are voting you top in this. I think it's about trust. When you've been a brand that's been around for 128 years globally, in almost 87 years here in South Africa, I think there's a consistency there. Um, it's a company that's been around for a long time, and in order to be around for a long time, you've got to be doing something right. So product integrity, first and foremost giving back to the communities where we operate first and foremost. So I think it's a combination of those. Trusting in terms of the brand, the product <coughs> that you're drinking, and a corporate citizen in terms of giving back to the communities where we operate. And we know that without thriving communities, uh, as a brand and as a company, we wouldn't thrive either. Who do you ask? Whose opinions do you ask for this? And how um, many are there? Theoretically, every South African that is 18 years and above should qualify to take part in the study. The study currently takes place in all urban areas in all of the nine uh, provinces of uh, South Africa, all major urban centers in the nine provinces. Um, and um, the criteria is that the person should be familiar with the company that they are rating so that they don't just state things uh, out of the top of their head, but they actually are familiar with the company that they are rating. The total sample was 3,042 respondents. If I may even chip in on uh, mm. what you asked Bugani just yeah. now in terms of the brand, the company, and the brand, the, the, the product, that is only one aspect of the reputation measure that we have, which is recognition. But we have eight other pillars, for instance, vision and leadership. And Coca-Cola does very well in that financial performance. Mm. And the uh, corporate social investment 
which is why I think the reputation measure is important because it's not just focused on products and services, but it spreads itself to include corporate communications, how you engage with the public. Mm. So let's run through those products and services you mentioned, vision and leadership you mentioned, workplace environment, BBBEE, -E, CSR, corporate social responsibility, financial performance, of course, governance, corporate communication you mentioned, and recognition. So, uh, Rukhani, uh, these 3,000 people that were asked, they might not all know about BBE or uh, corporate communications or governance. So uh, how do you communicate these sorts of things to the people out there? I mean, they might be recognized. You might mm. know you've built a school. But what do they know about your governance? I mean, I think a, a company like Coke that, as I said, the longevity builds trust. And I think our chairman and CEO, Mutar Kent, mm. um, has coined for us something called the Golden Triangle the intersect of business, government, and civil society in terms of giving back. So I think Coke, in many dimensions, besides the product, we're out there in the communities making I sure that I we... I can see that, mm. but I'm concerned about the individual. I'm imagining being mm. asked about these big companies. Mm. I, could, I could talk probably about four or five characteristics of these top companies, but I wouldn't necessarily know about their governance or their vision and leadership if I'm a man in the street. Yeah, most possibly. And if you look at Coca-Cola, what stands out for it is... Uh, being well accepted and, and loved, uh, but also communication uh, stands out for Coca-Cola and uh, the recognition that they are an esteemed uh, business. And a lot of the other things such as the governance might flow from the fact that they are an established business mm -hmm. that uh, is respected and well loved and is involved. They were involved, for instance, in the uh, 20th uh, anniversary of our democracy yeah. and, and the World Cup and such things. And from that then respondents might infer Maybe not having heard of anything too negative that might have happened around Coca-Cola, that things such as governance, about which, as you rightly point out, they might not know a lot. Mm. They might then infer, make an inference that those are in place. So what happens next with this research? These companies presumably very pleased, particularly the ones in the top ten and so on. Uh, do they use it? How do you use it? We use it to communicate to them um, the most important thing, which is that their reputation counts. Mm. Because um, in the day we live in now, it's all about uh, sustainability. In big business, we see Fortune 500 companies around the world. They're all doing what is called triple bottom line reporting. And our businesses also need to be leading the way in terms of reducing unemployment, in terms of the increasing spend that consumers need to e engage in. So they're using this information it doesn't help that we are degrade. We are being degraded in terms of the global competitiveness ind indices. That will not help us to create more employment. And uh, part of the that, the, the the first pillar of the World Economic Forum's uh, um, competitive co competitiveness index is actually uh, to do with institutions. Mm. We'll have to stop there, I'm afraid, but uh, this is, where can we find this, uh, this list? The TCRI, if we Google that, top 50 most reputable businesses, plus 94, that's where we'll find it. Plus 94.co.za, you also find the results on the Mail and Guardian sites, mg.co.za. People love lists, and well done to Coca-Cola <laughs> for coming top of the list uh, at, with a score of uh, 85.63. Thanks to Safiso Falala, CEO and founder of Plus 94 Research, and Vukani Magabani, who is Director and Public Affairs and Communications at Coca-Cola South Africa.